In this video, I'll show you how you can set up a custom Namecheap domain on system.io. So I'll walk you through everything that you need to do here and we'll get it all set up in around five minutes. So what we're first gonna do is log into system.io and then once you're on the dashboard, you then want to go to your profile icon in the top right hand corner, then go to settings. Once you're in settings, just scroll down and you should see here custom domains. So click on that. So by default, your system.io username will be the default uh, URL here, but we can go ahead and add a domain in the top right hand corner. Now we need to enter in our domain name. So to get that, we would need to go to Namecheap. You can log into your account and then go to your profile, go to dashboard, then go to domain list. And here you'll see all of your domains. So I'm going to use this one here, online how to guide dot click. So I'll just simply copy this domain and I'll paste it in here at www at the start and then click save. Okay, so now you can see the domain has successfully been created. Now we need to go ahead and configure our domain and get it to link to system.io. And here's how we do that. So go back to Namecheap and then find your domain and click on manage. Then that will take you into the back end here of your domain. Now just scroll down and make sure that Namecheap basic DNS is enabled. If it is, then that's great. Go to advanced DNS and then you can scroll down here and you might have some records here already. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna delete all of these records under host records. Now we can add a new record and we need to add here a C name. So here is C name record. Now go back to system.io. You can see we need to add a C name record. The next field that you need to add is www. So copy that and go to host and paste it in here. So www. Now in the value, you wanna go back to system.io and we want to paste in all of this here at the end. So copy this and then paste it in then click on save changes. Okay, so now that's added. Now we just need to add the second one here. So we're gonna go ahead and copy from the start here all the way to the end of this. So where it says dot online how to guide dot click, everything before that, we're going to copy. I then go to advanced DNS, add new record, add new C name, and I'll paste this in. Now we can go to the target and you want to then paste in all of this here. So paste in all of this, then click on save changes. And now we should be good. Now we can go back to system.io and we can close out of this. And this is going to now be pending validation. Now this could take up to 24 hours for everything to be updated, but I'll show you how you can check. So if you just copy your domain name, you can go to dnschecker.org and you can check to see if you've done everything right. So paste in your domain, click search. And as long as these are all green here, that means it's good. That means it should be working soon. 